for creating a DTM on a roof without still having a geometry for the building or the roof itself, you can use the Roof Generator. The Roof Generator creates 3D faces, which can be used for defining a surface with AutoCAD functionality. Now we go to the Generators tab and open the Roof Generator. Here you can find multiple parameters for creating a roof. After entering some basic values, Helios can calculate all other values for you. For that, please push the Calculate button. As long as more input is needed for the calculations, this red message will be displayed. If you want to change some values of the calculation, you can set all inactive values back to zero here. Now we enter the following values which match the roof geometry of our prototype drawing factory roof example. The roof length is 100 meters. The total base width is 30 meters. The edge length is for F and G are 15.10 meters each. Additionally, we enter a ridge height of 13.73 meters, so the roof will get inserted in the correct height. Now we push the Calculate button. As you can see, the calculation is valid. Now we push the Insert Roof as 3D Faces button. We select an insert point and rotate the faces into position. For reason we want to get the same roof as in the mentioned prototype drawing, we copy both faces. We select the insertion point on the lower edge and we insert the copies justified to the edge of one of the old faces. Now we can create a DTM out of these faces. For that we open the tool space, go to the Prospectors tab and right click the point Surfaces. Here we say Create Surface, leave the type Add Tin Surface and name our surface Roof Surface. We click OK. Now go to the tool space again and open the structure tree in front of surfaces. Here you can find the point drawing objects. We right click this point and say add, select the object type 3D faces and push OK. Now we can select our faces as objects. After pressing OK the DTM appears. As a last step, we go back to the Placement tab, right-click the Structure list and say Refresh. Now the name of our surface appears in the Structure list and the surface can be used for planning.